All right, we'll see what we can do here with a quick uh, 10 minute or so presentation for you. So hi, welcome to Cohesity. This is Greg Staten from Technical Marketing here. I'd like to give you a high level overview of what we're developing here at Cohesity. So the company was founded in 2013 by Mohit Aran just a couple of years ago last month. Mohit is, is known as the godfather of the hyperconverged movement. He was a CTO and founder of Nutanix. We are uh, currently headquartered in Santa Clara, about 60 people strong, with the technical team hailing from Google, VMware, Riverbed, Nutanix, and NetApp. I like to highlight that to show our pedigree in distributed systems runs really deep within the technical team. We've received about $70 million in funding from such names as Sequoia, Google Ventures, Wing, Qualcomm Artisan. Um, and we've got a couple of paying customers who uh, have no problem speaking kindly about us from GS1 and Tribune Media. So let's dive right in. If you take a look at the data center landscape, we really like to, to liken it to that of an iceberg. Uh, with an iceberg, you have a little bit of ice at the top, and we like to say that that's more of the primary storage market. This is where you run your mission critical applications that require very high performance and very strict SLAs. And this is the uh, where your business generates its revenue from. Just like the Titanic found underneath the surface is the bulk of that ice. And so it's that bulk of that data. And we're, we're calling this that secondary storage landscape. And this is all of your operational workflows from test and dev all the way down to data protection. While you still require some high performance, the SLAs tend to be a bit more relaxed. You're running your test and dev workflows, analytics, and your data protection, which is inclusive of backup, archive, cloud spill. So if you take that operational workflow and break it out, we start to see some natural silos occurring. And these silos are uh, start out in the business continuity silo. This is uh, has all your data protection stack. And so you end up having your own target storage and software to support that. And so you're continually streaming that data from your primary workloads into this environment. And this is that, that insurance policy that you really set and you never really get to use. The next silo that we see are those operational workloads. Um, this, you're either carving out additional storage from your primary storage array, pulling an old storage array that's out of maintenance out, out of the closet standing up, or you're going out and buying a new storage array. So you're running uh, copies of your production workloads more often because developers request instances of those applications to be run so they can update their applications. You're also running your file services and other DevOps workflows there. The third silo that we see is that analytics silo. So you know analytics are only as good as the data is fresh, and so you're either carving out additional storage on that primary array, paying top dollar for it, borrowing storage from your operational workflow uh, target storage, or buying yet a third storage array to kind of fuel this, because you're not gonna run your analytics apps right on top of your primary storage. And so you got a whole stack to be able to fill that and it's continually running. So now you end up having at least three copies of that same bit of data that's running in production. Then this is a problem that Cohesity is looking to solve. We're looking to break down those walls of the silo, reduce the complexity, reduce the fragmentation and provide a platform that easily scales. And we're building that platform as a hardware software so, uh, appliance solution. This appliance is a simple 2U4 node appliance that you've seen in the industry. It's commodity off-the-shelf hardware. Across the front are 96 terabytes of spinning disk and about just under 6.5 terabytes of PCIe attached flash. Each one of these nodes is a fully independent server with its own CPU and memory and networking. Out the back you have dual 10 gig Ethernet, dual 1 gig Ethernet, and out-of-band management. We layer on top of these nodes our customized and proprietary software that, that can run on three nodes, four nodes, or a hundred nodes, it doesn't really matter. So once you take all of those systems, we start layer, we start binding it all together with our distributed scale out file system. And this gives you very uh, specific things that you would expect from a file system. Uh, we get infinite scale out due to the distributed systems nature of our, of our core. All the operations that you can perform on a cluster, whether you be adding nodes, removing nodes, uh, changing out disks, are happen non-disruptively. 
So if a disk fails, operations never stop. We built in a, a very intelligent data indexing engine that lives at the lowest level of our, our file system, fully indexing all data that lands on the system. Because we have a couple of different tiers of storage, we, we tier the data between that flash and the spinning disk and whatever storage you have attached to this and place the data where it's best needed. And unlike a traditional RAID groups, we don't have this notion of a hot disk or hot node. All load across the system is balanced as it's being utilized for optimization. And this file system is extremely extensible. We extend it first with our core storage services. And this provides a lot of stuff you would expect from any, any storage array, like snapshots. Everybody's gonna say that their snapshots are better than everyone else's and we're no different. We allow you to take an infinite number of snapshots at any time interval and keep them forever without suffering any performance problems. Those snapshots really do power our data protection story, which we'll get into here shortly. From the snapshots, you can create instant clones of new instances of these virtual machines that help drive a lot of that test and dev workflows or DevOps workflows. All data that, that lands on the system can be globally deduplicated. This is a user configurable parameter and policy that you can set up by group or by job, allowing you to, to dedupe data inline, post-process, or not at all if you happen to be storing a whole bunch of images or video files that it won't deduplicate well. This is also the layer that handles the replication. As data is being written to the box, it needs to be uh, replicated to protect it within the, within the cluster as a whole. We're both chassis and rack aware so that as data is being written to a node on a single chassis, it'll be written to a, uh, a node that, that is outside of that chassis or outside of that rack if it's available. We also support multiple NAS-like protocols, starting with NFS and migrating over towards SMB. And then later down the line, we're looking at HDFS, iSCSI. Um, and those are really easy for us to adapt on. We also integrate with several cloud storage vendors, notably uh, Amazon Glacier. We can allow you to plumb in Glacier storage and, and leverage this as a, as a offsite archival space for your data. All this complexity should be very easy to manage, and we've built a single pane of glass to manage this versus a single glass of pane that you most are used to. This provides a, a GUI, and if you think a GUI is too fancy, we have a CLI, and both of these are written on top of our REST API, which is fully exposed. So if a GUI and a CLI are too fancy for you, you can write your own automation framework around the fully RESTful API. What comes next is something truly special. We're opening up the platform, allowing people in the community to write applications that run right off of the system, leveraging that extra compute uh, that's across the cluster. We have two six-core Haswell processors in each node, of the pro each node of the system and 64 gigs of memory, plenty of horsepower to run any of your analytics needs. This programmable data platform can run our native Cohesity apps, as well as custom-developed apps by yourself, the community, or ISVs. This also drives our Cohesity Analytics Workbench, which we'll get into a bit later. We seed the box with three of our applications. Cohesity Protect, which manages our data protection workflows. The Cohesity Use, allowing you to rapidly spin up test and dev environments, as well as Cohesity Learn to gain, to gain real-time insight into your data as well as the platform itself. To start off with the Cohesity Protect app, we allow you to have granular and powerful data protection for your virtual environments, leveraging the snapshots we talked about earlier. Taking these fully hydrated snapshots that are also fully globally de deduplicated, you can protect data at any sort of interval you would like and reduce the footprint greatly by deduplicating that data that's coming in. All operations in the, while the data protection app is running happen non-disruptively. So if a node fails or if you want to upgrade the software, you don't need to stop backing up your applications. There's no need to bring down the cluster for a maintenance window. All data that hits the Data Protect app is fully indexed and is searchable. 
This means it's through a Google-like search box, you can easily search for a given virtual machine and instantly restore it at any point in time from your snapshots. We also crack open and examine the VMDKs and index the file system. So we give you the ability to search for specific files that live within any virtual machine across the entire cluster and instantly restore that file from any snapshot that you'd like at any point in time. Next, the KCD Use app allows you to provision and manage new storage containers. Also, rapidly spin up test and development environments, leveraging the instant clones from the snapshots that you're already backing up. We also deliver native file services via NFS and soon to follow SMB. We also allow you to create custom fault tolerance domains for your test and dev environments. If at any time you feel like your test and dev workflows might spin out of control and you don't want it to hinder any of your active workflows or active virtual machines running, you can partition off nodes in the cluster, set them aside for these workloads so that they're isolated. Finally, the Coecity Learn app allows you to visualize your storage utilization trends over time, giving you instant access to, to the uh, amount of data protected, the amount of data redu reduced, predictions around how much storage you have or how much storage you have left and when you're going to run out of storage, as well as interesting file level stats, like how many PDFs you have across the system, what your biggest files are, what the oldest files are that haven't been used. We give you v user, VM, and file level uh, reporting. This Coecity Learn app can be also extended with our Coecity Analytics Workbench. This is a programmable uh, uh, workbench that allows you to write simple vertical specific data analytics packages in JavaScript very easily, bringing the compute Back where it belongs, where the data lives. Stop.